Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Galindo, head of interactives at Chalmers International, and today I present to you our Trollux TX90 interactive monitor, an interactive monitor that is clearly gaining the trust of the market and making a significant impact in both educational institutions and the business world. Its main features include ease of use, superior build quality, an excellent mirroring system, and a series of special functions that we've developed to enhance presentations or classes. Perhaps the most important thing is the added value. What's the point of having a great system or interactive monitor without a team supporting you, helping you learn and solving problems when they arise? Now I'll explain each of these points to you to better understand this fantastic monitor. Ease of use. As I mentioned, user experience has been developed by the Trollux team. There is direct access to the most often used functions from an icon. I can place it where I find useful or on the home, I also have access to other functionalities, some are duplicated or even in the side menu, I can access more utilities as well. Build quality. The build quality is top notch. It has been manufactured by one of the world's best manufacturers and we've chosen the finest available components including ultra smooth anti-reflective glass connected directly to the LCD, also known as zero bonding technology for the best viewing angle. There's also an ultra-precise and ultra-fast IR frame and connections on the front, speakers on the front and buttons to access some of the most used functions, also directly from the front. This build quality gives the TX90 an absolutely spectacular writing speed and accuracy. It's one of the best you will find in the market. We can write in two colors or even erase by hand. An aspect often overlooked when assessing writing speed in interactive software is how it performs with external software from external operating systems, which is what I'll show you now. I select the OPS. If it were an external computer, it would behave exactly the same way as done here. This is because it has an included accessory, which is an OPS, a module with Windows. Here you will see that the writing speed is exactly the same. Be careful with the surprises we may encounter when evaluating an interactive monitor. It can be very fast using the Android whiteboard itself, but quite slow using external software. For example, Drawboard, a Microsoft software used to make annotations on a PDF. Another feature we need to check is the processor speed. We can do this in several ways. For example, if we open a PDF like the user manual for this monitor, which has about 60 pages, see how quickly it did so. As you can see, I can navigate through it very quickly. Zoom, view, take, etc. Another important feature to evaluate is how long it takes to open a large video. If I open a file like the one I'm about to open, which is in 4K, see how fast it does it. And clearly it will help us evaluate the image quality of the monitor, which thanks to its zero bonding technology, will be the same quality from any viewing angle, whether in a class or a meeting room. Regarding the image quality, it should be noted that these interactive monitors have a brightness of 400 CDM2, which under some circumstances might be overpowering. So to protect our eyesight, it is a good idea to use the automatic brightness adjustment tool that can adapt to the current environment. The brightness will not be the same on a cloudy day or in the evening as on a very sunny day in a room with lots of daylight. Another feature worth highlighting about protecting our eyesight is that it has the ability to lessen blue tones on the screen. The connectivity with external devices is one of the most refined aspects of this interactive monitor. It features an interactive hub that we can connect our devices to and harness maximum interactivity offered by many contemporary software. Obviously the most common method to connect will be via cable. We can connect it via HDMI and USB, but the new USB-C cables with the Thunderbolt 3 specification allows both video and audio transmission along with interactivity and even simultaneous laptop charging, which can make it cumbersome to work with this type of cables. 
Just by connecting, with the touch of my fingers, I can navigate through the files and create annotations using the pencil's tip, as you'll see below. If we navigate further down, you'll note that those annotations are inserted. Did we mess up? Well, we can directly erase using the cube. We write, erase and navigate. Another way to connect our external devices is to use the mirroring or wireless projection system, which allows you to freely move around the entire meeting room or class and project from here, simultaneously hearing and controlling what you project. This applies to Windows or Mac OS. Now, I'm going to project from this computer that we have here. We have to have Acer Pro installed. There's only one operating system that doesn't require an installation, which is Apple. Here, as you can see, I am projecting the computer and I keep the interactivity at two points. Now, I'm going to project from an iPhone. It is a common test that is done. Observe how long it takes for the iPhone to connect because if the system isn't very good, it takes quite a few seconds. We all know how meetings can be delayed waiting for a connection. Now, you will see that this device connects really quickly. And just by doing this, using the same iPhone mirroring system, the connection is immediate. As you can see, the PC retains its interactivity, like I mentioned before. Next, I'll quickly explain some of the functionalities that the interactive monitor possesses. If we open an Office file, for instance, a PowerPoint, we can navigate through it, zoom in and out with our finger, and with the pencil, add annotations directly that will be inserted in the document itself. The same will happen if we open an Excel file, for example. I use the icon to quickly navigate home, go to the file exporter and open an Excel file. Just as it's another Microsoft family file, the same thing will occur. I can navigate using my finger, can zoom in, zoom out, and if I want to annotate, I can do it directly with the pencil. An image like this will be very useful for us to learn about the different parts of the human body in English. We could simply free cut the part of the drawing that interests us and send it directly to the board. Send to the board. Once we have it, the student can tell us what each part of the human body is. Another useful feature can be found here in the side menu, Utilities. The screen recording or screen recorder will now create a video of everything we do on the monitor. We can move away from the whiteboard, we can create any other type of document. In this case, it's a Word document. I'll be able to move around. I'll also be able to write. When we want to stop the recording, it will indicate that it is stored in internal memory. In the File Explorer under Movies, we will find the recordings. To wrap up the functionality section, I'll show you a couple more features. The first would be the QR code generator. We open any image, document. Here, we can annotate if we want to, but it's not necessary. Now I'm going to make one, but if not, we can leave it like this to generate a QR code or mark something. This is very important because by generating the QR code, the entire audience, all the students will be able to read it and store in memory the image that we are currently projecting. We don't need to be on the same Wi-Fi network because the system uploads it to a cloud server. To finish off, maybe we saved the most important part, which is the added value of the service. What's the point of buying high quality equipment if there isn't a team of people behind it that will help us when there is a problem or when we don't know how to do something? Obviously, you have to take great care of this.
interactive monitors have direct access to our support. The QR code is to download the user manual, which also comes with a series of videos, explanations, etc. And if not, you have the contact to report any type of problem, query, etc. We have a service where we answer phone calls or respond in writing to any queries that may come up. Of course, the warranty has to be premium, like everything else I've explained about this monitor. On-site warranty for five years, which also includes reinstallation, so you don't have to worry about anything. In the unlikely event that there is a warranty failure, we will take care of everything for you. So that's the end of the presentation video about our Trollux TX. I hope you found it interesting, and I'll see you in the next video if you want.